Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you how to use Android Auto on a Volvo. This will work with all Volvo models that have the tablet looking multimedia system, uh, such as Volvo XC90, XC60, XC40, the S90, S60, V90, etc. I know there's a few more models in the range. Um, just can't remember them from the top of my head, but I'll put them, I'll make sure they're in the description. So first thing you're gonna to need to use Android Auto is an Android phone. For the purpose of this video, this is a Samsung S24 Ultra. Uh, I'll be using this to connect Android Auto. The next thing you're gonna need is a USB-A uh, to your phone's connection. In this case, it's a USB-C. You're gonna to have to plug it in to the armrest USB port, which has the white border. So the two USBs, one and two, you're going to plug it into the one with the white border. So let's plug that in there. We can close that now. And then we're going to get our Android phone and plug the phone in. You see that's plugged in. So on our system there, we're going to scroll to the left and click on Android Auto. So we've clicked on that and that's popped up right there. So Android Auto, let's zoom in a little bit so you can have a look at how it is. So you can see this is the main menu, you have your shortcuts there, uh, you have your Google Maps on the right, your music on the bottom left and the nav at the top left. So let's explore how this works. On the bottom left, you'll have your battery percentage and your mobile phone signal. Um, the phone is also charging at the same time, which is always good. Just to remind you, this is a wired only con connection. I do believe there are some adapters on the market that can make this connection wireless. I'll put the link in the description down below to click on uh, and find them on Amazon for good quality one. So you can see the shortcuts you have there. Uh, you have Waze which is my preferred map choice. That's right there. Waze, is, at the moment I opened it, it moved to the bottom right shortcut, which means the most recently opened app. Uh, you can also go back to split view, or if you click on that again, that's all of the apps um, Android Auto has that's on your phone. So all the apps on your phone that are compatible with Android Auto automatically go right there um, you can see everything's there you have your whatsapp which reads up which reads you the messages youtube music ways google maps messages you have your calendar as well which is a nice thing if you're always on the road and need to check your schedule let's go into settings you're going to see if you don't want your message notifications to come up you can uncheck that uh, if you do want them to come up you can show the first line of the message as well which is a cool feature for android auto it will start android auto automatically default set by the car that's always a good option and then we can do wallpaper driver mode change layout if it's an electric vehicle we can choose the settings and then we can go onto our phone to see more settings so we are on the android phone let me just get it in my other hand so if we go to settings and what we're going to do is using the top search we're going to type in android auto which is right there this is the android auto settings right there it's going to show that we're connected to the volvo over usb and we can customize the launcher hey google there you go it's popped up um, and a few other things let's customize the launcher all the apps that are there we can for example take off say smart things we can take that off and that disappears day and night mode for maps yeah it's very very uh, user friendly in terms of customization you can have all of that there now just remember from the main menu you scrolled there you can click on android auto there 
Apple CarPlay is also there. I'll show you in the, if you click on the link in the description down below, there's a link to a video which has the Apple CarPlay tutorial. If your vehicle does not have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, but you have a tablet looking screen, contact your local Volvo dealer or specialist for them to activate these features onto your Volvo. If you have any questions regarding this, um, this setting, please get in touch with us using the comments down below and all the contact information. If you liked this video and it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you need to see anything else on Volvos or any other car related things, let us know and we'll try and help.